no matter the location. From OAKLA to LV, I'm a Raider. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. I want you guys to set a reminder and join me for my Raiders up against the 49ers watch party. 3.45 p.m. Eastern Time, 12.45 p.m. Pacific. Well, don't worry, we're not going to be at 1 o'clock in the morning doing Raiders preseason coverage. It was fun, but I don't want you to miss it. I need your help because it's not going to be just me. I'm actually going to have the 49ers host on with me. We need to show them who actually owns the Bay. Go ahead and subscribe. Got a super chat coming in here from King Ching. What's good, Mitch? What will it take to bring in Charles Woodson to be our cornerback coach? Yes, I'm spamming this. I hope that he will see it for the opportunity. I don't think it's going to happen, man. And if I'm Woodson, he's got a lot of other projects going on. Being a cornerback coach is going to be a very, very high-pressure situation where you're going to be working a lot of long hours. I love Woodson, and I would love to him to come back, but... I just can't imagine why he would want to be a cornerback coach for any team. And it's a lot to do with, like, he's doing a lot of other really good things in his life. He's got a whiskey brand. He's got a wine brand. Maybe, maybe, how about this? Charles, if you're watching the show, I'll put some Charles Woodson whiskey on the show if you want to come and be the, the Raiders cornerback coach. Let's go to the next one coming in here. From Alec, Mitch, I would have cut Stoner and kept Aitman. He's been with us, and I believe that he's better than Stoner. <laughs> he may be a better name, but not happy about Aitman. I mean, like, I'm okay with it. I, I don't really think it has so much to do with just Stoner and Aitman. It's more of, like, there are they're a lot different types of receivers. And, yes, Aitman was a better player, and he's been with the Raiders a little bit longer. But if you're Las Vegas, you kind of already know what Marcel Aitman could be. You technically don't know what Dylan Stoner could be yet. And I think it has more to do with age. It has more to do with the overall roster construction than just putting those guys up against each other. But Aitman has been one of those players that I've always rooted for because he's been a Raider and he's been a hardworking dude. So I am a little bit upset. Let's go to LI Raider 312. What would it take to trade for David Bakhtiari from the Green Bay Packers? You're going to have to give up a lot. I mean, like, you're going to have to give up a first-round pick as far as I'm concerned. He's one of the best tackles in the league. And if they're trying to keep Aaron Rodgers happy, you are going to have to give up a lot. So, I love back to Yari, but he's a tackle. I don't really think the Raiders need a tackle. I have confidence in Colt Miller. I have confidence in Alex Leatherwood. You need a guard. Bakhtiari could probably do it for the Raiders, but at the end of the day, I don't really see them going out and trading for him. Now, it's preseason week three. It's finally here. One more preseason game, and if you guys want to go ahead and watch it, you should watch it here at the Raiders Report. So what I want you guys to do right now, though, is look into that crystal ball and try to predict the score. Las Vegas Raiders up against the San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to be looking down in the comments. Go ahead, predict the score. Let's go to Cesar Reyes Garcia. A coffee cup with the words tired. Another, uh, another, I, I don't know if you're talking about me or if you're, yeah, or yourself, but I am, I am a little bit tired, but yes, I literally see the coffee cup that says tired. If somebody wants to throw in a $20 super chat, we'll get the party started. Me and the new guy, Trace, we'll go ahead and take some shots. Let's go to Brintar. At least one good thing about backups, if someone goes down, there are other ones playing to help hide some of those flaws. You're 100% right, and I actually think one of the things that the Raiders did well last year was they actually had some of these um, some of these backups be able to step up and come in when Trent Brown went down or when you know Gabe Jackson or whoever the hell was unable to play. I am, though, scared because I have confidence in Simpson, but after him, there's nobody realistic that I'm like, are you going to be confident in Brandon Parker? No. Jared Jones? No. Patrick Amon? Like, no, you're not going to be confident in any of those guys. And the way that Nick Martin played this past week, even him, it scares the hell out of me. Let's go to this next one coming in from Gary. I saw an article, NASA to the Jets for a 2022 fifth-round pick. I would do it in a heartbeat. Like, NASA has been actually looking a lot better in the system. He also said, you know, he's been playing with a much clearer head for obvious reasons. But, like, here's Gary's trade idea. The Raiders receive a 2022 fifth-round pick. The Jets get NASA. The reason why that this is an easy win for Las Vegas is because you can clear all the money off his books or off the Raiders' books by trading NASA. The reason why this makes sense for the Jets they just lost Carl Lawson to an Achilles injury, so he's done for the year. And they also lost uh, Gerard Davis, another one of their linebackers. He's probably going to be out six, seven, eight weeks. So, like, this move does make some sense. But does anybody really want to pay Carl Nassib as much money as what we have to? Probably not. Super chat time. Daniel, I think your caps lock are on. How many Chucky heads Darius Vylon makes the team? I'm going to get ballsy here because I think that's what this show is about. 
I'm going to give it four Chucky heads. I believe that Darius Phylon 100% deserves to make this team. He's been getting more playing time. He's been balling out in the preseason. You hear coaches talk nothing but good about him at practice. He was really good before in a Gus Bradley system, and he looks pretty damn good now. Even if he's the fifth DT on this team, I'm going to give it four Chucky heads. I have Darius Phylon making this roster. Marble Racer Pro, how many games will Hobbs start this season? Wow, uh, I mean, he's definitely going to start the first two, and if he plays well in those first two games and he doesn't get hurt, there's no reason why he can't start 17 games. Like, that's how good Nate Hobbs has been. And I don't know why the Raiders have this affiliation with Nevin Lawson, but, I mean, watch him in the preseason. Watch him in the regular season. Nevin Lawson's not good at football. Nevin Lawson maybe needs to go ahead and get some Panda Supps because I'll tell you what, he needs to be able to bulk up a little bit here. Go to pandasupps.com where you guys can save 40% off. All you got to do, though, is use code Raider Nation. So usually these products are like $44.99. Now we're going to cut that down to $26.99. One of the best products that they have is actually the New Tropics, which you see on screen. If you're trying to study for a test, if you're at work, if you're a big-time video gamer, if you're up at like 3 o'clock in the morning, you need to concentrate take a scoop of this you are wide awake if you're trying to burn some fat maybe you're just trying to get into better shape here pandasups.com again the fat burner i use this product actually every day now their most popular products are the protein because of how good it tastes i've actually had a few people try their protein and be like dude it's the best protein on the market imagine the milk that you have like get get some cereal right some fruity pebbles some fruit loops or whatever and you know that milk after the cereal's gone that's what this protein tastes like, the fruity. It's incredible. And if you guys want some free protein, it's chatsports.com slash free protein is the link. For whatever reason, if all you heard was free protein, you blacked out a little bit, message me on IG and I'll get you set up. If you're having trouble sleeping, Dad, I'm looking at you. No regular human should wake up at 2.30 in the morning. Take a scoop of their Sleepy Aid. It's going to help you sleep a whole lot better. Let's now go to Cam Jones. Who would be a surprise cut like Rasul Douglas? Well, I guess a surprise cut, I mean, some of the other cuts that were made today on the on Tuesday, they ended up getting rid of, oh my gosh, all my my names are blank, and Darius Stills, Marcel Aitman, and who else did they just cut? Oh, man, either way, Darius Stills, Marcel Aitman, and Darren Lee, Jesus, get it together, Mitch. The other name that I'm going to throw out here is a surprise cut candidate. I'm going to go ahead and say Nick Martin, and the reason why I'm going to say Martin is because he did not look good whatsoever in this preseason game, and I'm going to go ahead and try to be, you know, surprised. I mean, if they got rid of Martin, it would surprise me. Do I think it's going to happen? No, but it's definitely going to be a name that I keep in mind. Let's go to Slider Holiday. I know it's preseason still, but I am always looking towards the draft. Who would you draft in the 2022 draft? It depends where the Raiders finish. If they're a bottom 10 team and they got a top 10 pick, I think you got to look at quarterback. Might hurt some people's feelings, but it's just the truth. If they end up having a good year, then you don't really need to go QB. I mean, it's going to be interesting. The draft's going to be in Vegas. I'm going to try to be out there in Las Vegas. Sam wants me to say Spencer Rattler, but I don't want to. I want no part of Spencer Rattler. I'm sorry. I do not think he's going to be. I just don't think he's going to be very good. And he's a cocky dude, which I hate. So if you guys are looking for the best Raiders videos on YouTube, please go ahead and subscribe. The link is below, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. We are the number one most watched Raiders show because, well, I think we make more videos than literally anybody else out there. But we're also being able to keep you guys up to date right when things happen. We go live every single Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. And if you want me to stop telling you all to subscribe, guess what you got to do? You got to subscribe because I think it's like 55% of the people that watch my videos aren't subbed. Imagine a world where those 55% of people just click the sub button. I don't got to tell you to sub anymore. James Gomez, is this game still the dress rehearsal game? If so, do we have our starters out for a whole half? You know, I actually have no idea. Uh, with the third preseason game, I know from what it sounds like, the 49ers are going to treat this as the dress rehearsal. But even in dress rehearsal games, John Gruden has not played a lot of his starters. I mean, Derek Carr, I believe, has played like two or three preseason series in his three years underneath Gruden. I don't think Carr is going to play, and if Carr doesn't play, then why put out a lot of your other starters? What up, Bobby? Well, you have to show proof of vaccinations to attend a home Raiders game. Yes, you will. You're going to have to use the Clear app. If you don't know how to download it, you can go to your Apple Store and download it. But, yes, you will have to show proof. Let's go to Eric. Uh, what defensive player will the Raiders sign before the start of the season? I'm hoping it's KJ Wright. That's the number one player that I want. Though if they do sign KJ, 
that might be some bad news for some other Raiders linebackers, but I think he's the top guy still out there. Maybe an offensive lineman could be somebody to keep in mind. Uh, potentially even a defensive lineman as well. Always players to keep in mind. What up, Scott? George Blanda is the greatest Raider of all time. Mitchell and Ness just dropped his jersey, and I couldn't be happier. When I first I saw Mitchell. I'm like, oh, shit, who the hell's Ness? Uh, I mean, some people have, you know, George Blanda might be the greatest Raider of all time to some people. He's not my top Raider. I mean, there's a lot of, obviously, ways that you could go about this. But if you guys want to let me know in the comments who, you're, who you think the greatest Raider of all time is, please, there's so many right answers. J-Day, Raider Nation owns the Bay, ye. If you guys think that Raider Nation owns the Bay, then what I want you to do right now is make sure you're watching my Raiders and 49ers watch party. Speaking of which, do you plan on watching it? Why for yes and for no? I hope and I really, really hope that you guys watch this week's watch party because it's going to be like unlike anything you've ever seen. It's not going to be just me. It's going to be me and our 49ers guy, and I need more Raider fans there than 49er fans there. We need to show out. Why for yes and for no? Let's go to K-Rob. I really liked Tyree Gillespie. I feel like he was in on every tackle, or was he close by? I, I like the energy that he's able to bring. He's also a super, super versatile player, but I'm curious to see how much playing time he gets during the regular season. He did have three tackles and a tackle for loss this past week up against the Rams. He didn't play in the first preseason game because he's still recovering from an injury, but I so far do like what I see out of Tyree Gillespie that I definitely, definitely agree with. All right, y'all, so we got 777 people. That's my mom's lucky number when she's playing slot machines in Las Vegas. So if you were unlucky and I didn't answer your question, remember you can always hit me up on Instagram at MitchellRens365. Let's go to Daniel Keenum. Think we keep more offensive linemen than any other position? Yeah. I mean, last year the Raiders kept nine offensive linemen. I could see them keeping nine, maybe ten again this year. I mean, you're going to keep probably six cornerbacks, probably five or six DTs, five or six linebackers, six wide receivers. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, offensive linemen is going to be by far the position that they keep the most of. Oh, Cesar Ruiz Garcia, let's go get Kelechi. So, Kelechi Osimile is still a free agent. However, I don't know if he's 100% healthy. You're talking about a lot of these players that ended up battling some injuries last year. He was only able to play in five games. I actually think the game that he got injured was up against the Raiders, if I remember correctly. But he was a very, very good guard for the Raiders for a very long time. But 32 years old. Coming off a season-ending injury. I know I don't like a lot of the other guards for the Raiders, but could potentially be some depth. However, the fact that we haven't heard much about him probably indicates that he's not 100% healthy. Who knows, though? I mean, I've seen crazier things here on the Raiders board. If you think the Raiders should go out and sign Kelechi Assembly, why don't you go down in the comments and type KO.